Hello everyone, welcome back to the Homeowner Series. It's a beautiful fall day here at the house. I've been on the computer here for the last few hours playing a little bit of farm sim and doing some online shopping. Let's get out from the desk here and get going on a few things around the house. Now this morning it was a bit chilly at just under 40 degrees. It has warmed up a bit. Hopefully it gets warmer as the day continues on. As we head on out the door here, let's grab a water bottle. Look at that 55 degrees. I will have to say that is one pretty sweet refrigerator to have a touch screen on it which is pretty awesome now in a few weeks here as we head on out the back door all our trees will be changing colors with the leaves and I will have to say the fall is one of the best times it just looks awesome with all of the leaves changing here but one thing we will be doing here hopefully we can continue to use a pool uh, for uh, uh, three four more weeks here with a pool heater which we'll be picking up later on today but let's head on over here give diesel a bowl of food a few treats here and we do have a few things we need to do I'm really excited to be back here at the house. We had a great week camping, and then uh, we uh, did do a few things at the ranch here. But you guys uh, know we went camping. It was a pretty long drive, and both these trucks are covered in not only road uh, dust and grime, we do have some gravel and everything all over here. So let's get the doors open up. Let's get the uh, pressure washer fired up here, and let's get going. Really want to make sure these trucks are spotless, especially after a long drive like this. We want to make sure they're all clean. I hope everyone's been having a fantastic day so far. Let me know how it is down though. My day's been so far pretty good here. Uh, just finishing up on a, uh, on a few school projects. And it's nice to be back here, especially with the homeowners here. Is let's hop here in the bed. Just kind of want to get a little bit of this out. Perfect. And let's do the gladiator. Now the wife did drive the gladiator about half the distance. I drove the other half and towing with a manual was I think one of my first times really doing it and this thing is awesome here. Now I do want to do some more modifications to it. Why don't we talk about that now? Uh, so what I really want to do is I want to get a spare tire rack here in the back of the bed. I think that would be a pretty sweet thing. Have it up on an angle right there. It's going to block that back window uh, but I think that looks so cool here. Now I do want to do some kind of I believe it's guardrails along either side here to prevent any rocks and things like that and new bumpers but let's hop on the inside and let's put it back in the garage now we do have a brand new sports car here on order which is exciting maybe another week or two here won't really I know for sure I'm just about finishing up with it in blender and we do have a little bit more work here but if it warms up enough we'll hop in the GT3 but with these colder temperatures you don't want to be ripping in a sports car and lose traction or anything like that but let's head on in and we'll put this inside but we'll probably take it out later on today to do a few errands so the big thing for today guys we are replacing the wife's out for Romeo she actually owned a few Raptors before this and I thought why don't we change it up here with an SUV and it just turns out uh, that I think she really wants a truck here and it's going to join uh, this here this is full electric and yes we are buying an electric vehicle the first time for me in farm sim one of the coolest things uh, that I can't wait to do so what we are picking up is a Tesla cyber truck uh, she really wants a truck and I thought why don't we pick up the new full electric truck I did decide to go with the full uh, tri motor so it is a pretty Pretty fully loaded Tesla and I cannot wait now if you guys do want all of the mods the links can be found down below on my website and I really do like doing that it's a great feature that I now have for all of you if you guys are on Instagram, I do recommend you go give me a follow at score2448. I post quite a few daily pictures and updates about the channel, and it's something I really do uh, like to do as well. Now this Alfa Romeo here, we probably put three, 4,000 miles on it. Really didn't own it for too long, and I will have to say it's just a little bit too sporty for her, and actually even for me, although I like uh, kind of a sporty uh, vehicle here. This thing is pretty cool, but it's Italian made, and I really wanted to buy something American, and this is definitely going to be the best thing we could buy. Now let me know down below in the comments guys what is your thoughts here on the Tesla Cybertruck. It's a very unique design, one of a kind. I kind of like it at the same time. Uh, it is a very unique vehicle. But here it is guys right out front the Tesla store. Wow this thing looks pretty sweet here. We'll do a full walk around and this thing is pretty fast here. Why don't we actually test out the acceleration on the way home. Pretty fun joy ride and then we'll uh, let the wife drive the rest of the way. But look at this guys full Cybertruck. This thing looks so sweet. Look at that guys. We got the white leather there. The upgrade dash there that thing looks so uh, so awesome and we do have a full working tailgate Tesla did throw in a hitch on the deal with which was awesome 
once we hop here on the inside you guys and see this is a pretty sweet thing really quickly let's t uh, check out the tailgate we do have a full working tailgate here now with a cyber truck being full electric we do not actually have any uh, sounds at all it's pretty quiet and would you look at this guys look at that steering wheel full it's almost like we have an ipad a full touch screen inside here this thing is pretty fast we'll kind of uh, give it the go here as we head on back here but sure definitely like this and this does have a built-in bed cover which is awesome now the big bonus to her having a pickup truck is that we could always use it but also uh with the kids playing sports you just kind to throw the bags in the bed of the truck and it actually doesn't kind of smell up the car now if you do have any cool feedback here for me please let me know i really do enjoy using your feedback here for these videos and you guys have been pretty awesome i just almost overdrove our street here just so quick it really accelerates pretty quickly that instant torque is so so awesome here now i can't wait to see how this looks in the garage right next to a big old duramax uh we have a full electric truck now I will have to say this thing looks so sweet here. Really do like kind of the futuristic design of it as well. But first time pulling it in the garage. Now we do actually have to have an electrician come out to install the Tesla wall charger. I don't think it will be too expensive. And the charger is actually back here. But here we go guys. The cyber trucks in the garage. Wow. Uh, this thing looks so so different compared to the GMC Duramax. Let's actually hop here in this truck. We got to go pick up a few things. It is October. We got to pick up some uh, pumpkins from the local store and then we are also going to be picking up the water uh, heater for the pool now with the homeowner series I am trying to give you guys a great mixture of kind of fun things but also improvements around the house and having a pool heater will be awesome even though it's only like 55 60 degrees we'll still be able to use a pool uh, since the water will be uh, pretty warm and also uh, it's time to decorate the house with pumpkins I think we'll first go pick up the uh, heater. Now this upcoming week here on the channel we do have some pretty cool content. We will be back with American Truck Sim. I can't wait for that. A few guys have been asking. Yes we'll be back. I've been really busy with school and everything around school. But I can't wait for that along with uh, some more videos and another mod review. This GMC Duramax here is one sweet truck here. Now I do want to order some modifications for it. Really want to get the mud flaps and I have not yet installed the uh, bed cover here in the Rams. I've just been too busy here doing some projects and uh, too busy uh, just in general here. But let's kind of get going, get the uh, tailgate down. Look at this pool heater uh, for a few thousand dollars. I think it's worth it to kind of keep uh, continuing to use the pool here. So let's see if we can put this in the bed of truck. A little heavy for us, but uh, working out lately has really help with this and perfect let's see if we can put a strap on it yep and we can't put another one but that's a okay so we are actually going to be picking up I think probably I'm going to go with three to four even possibly five pumpkins however many we can fit in the back of the bed we'll buy I'm really excited for October. There's so many fun things we could do. I definitely want to see if we can get some other October decorations as well and uh, get the candy ready for all the trick-or-treaters now I would like to go to a pumpkin patch here, but I think the closest one is like an hour away here. Around the town is farm fields, and none of the farms carry any uh, pumpkins here. But I really do like apple picking, picking pumpkins. I think that's always a fun thing to do here with the family. But let's get going, you guys, and see. Wow, they already carved them for us. That is one awesome thing here. Let's see how much uh, we can fit here in the bed. Now I do want to put a few in front of the garage doors on the front porch, areas like that. And I think these will really help out and definitely and kind of give our uh, property kind of an October theme. Now these pumpkins should last probably about a month before we just have to kind of throw them into the compost pile and I definitely want to get the seeds from them. Pumpkin seeds is always great so I think we'll just buy all of them. Why don't we? And I think they were getting another order later on today but there we go the AT4 here. Great truck. Now we did switch from a eight foot bed to a six and a half and I really haven't had a problem with this. Now coming tomorrow we will be getting working here on a huge huge project at the house here which many of you guys have recommended we do and I kind of touched upon it a few videos ago uh, so maybe you guys can maybe guess it down below here but that should be pretty awesome. Now if you are enjoying today's video please drop a like it's much appreciated here as it helps out with the YouTube algorithms. Let's see if we get maybe a thousand two thousand likes here that would be pretty sweet. 
Now, we will be featuring some farm sim on the Xbox very soon as well. I can't wait for that. I do have lots of videos planned, uh, lots of very unique videos, kind of showcasing uh, the Xbox and everything about that. But let's see, actually, how are we going to do this? What I'm thinking is we'll probably just park the truck out front and carry everything around. I would like to drive on the grass, but I'm not sure how realistic that is. And uh, with a little bit of rain in the last week, I'm not sure how good that would be here but we'll get the tailgate dropped here i want to put one out in between the garage doors and then we'll find some other areas especially on the porch now i think to end today here why don't we hop on one of the off-road toys maybe the three-wheeler and have a little bit of fun there where did it go it goes flying uh, like usual this does have a few problems there but oh yeah that looks so awesome there just adds a little bit extra if you would so call it here but we'll put a few out on the front porch and then we'll let the wife and the kids get them and they just keep wanting to go flying here hopefully we could kind of get this rotated back around here sometimes doing these mods is a bit tricky now these uh pumpkins i actually converted converted uh, from FS17 uh, here, but let's see, let's see, let's see, and we'll get turned around here, really, really am excited, oh yeah, that's awesome, now I really do like the interactive part of uh, these videos here, picking up things like pumpkins and everything else, I think that's so awesome. We'll put one more out front here. We'll leave the rest, and I really want to just get the pool heater done. And then I think, yeah, we'll just kind of hop on one of the other things here. Don't want to go too fast here. If we drop it, it's going to make one huge mess all over the walkway. And I think some of the rodents and animals would like it. But there we go. That definitely adds to it. Wow, that looks great here. Let's get the pool heater installed. I can't wait for this. Now, we do have to kind of put it in place. And then I think we do have a crew coming out to help with it here. Actually, that is pretty awesome that you could actually do that there. We'll pick it up. We'll carry it over i would say this probably weighs a hundred pounds it is a bit heavy but we're making it work <laughs> all the way over here now we'll be using the hot tub a lot more here soon which should be awesome but having this uh kind of back of this house here kind of out of the way no one will see it should be a uh, pretty quiet so there we go we got everything done here for today and let's see if diesel wants to kind of chase us around here he always likes to and there he goes come on diesel just run around here chase us hopefully he'll chase us here with the uh three-wheeler here now i do want to do a few more projects on this side of the property as well which i hope you guys are excited for let's see if we get these doors opened up perfect We'll just roll that out of the way there. We'll roll it out first. That way we don't have to kind of start inside. And Diesel's always looking at him. He's coming. Now, it would be so cool if he was to actually chase us here on the three-wheeler. And we got it all fired up here, all warmed up, and we're good to go here. Now, I will have to say, as we are driving on here, it is a little bouncy. I'm not sure exactly what's happening there. Hopefully, I can get that worked out here. But you guys can see we are flying. We'll probably do a few a big laps around the house uh, before we call it a day here. But hope you guys enjoyed today's homeowner series a video. A pretty fun one. We got the new Tesla Cybertruck, got pumpkins, and a pool heater. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one, and subscribe for more.